Hi, I'm Nathan Johanning with the University of Illinois Extension. We're here today at the Belleville Research Center to talk about some of our planting date trials. This one's specifically looking at cover crops and cereal rye. So this trial was supported by the Illinois Soybean Association and the goal is what we're looking at today is looking at three different planting dates across the fall, looking at four different seeding rates, looking at 30 pounds, 60 pounds, 90 pounds, and 120 pounds of cereal rye. So we're gonna take a look and just walk through the plots, see where we're at here. It's mid-December, so we're trying to see where things are at as we go into winter. All right, as we start off with, first we have a non-treated strip here. So you can see we do have a few stray winter annuals and other things, but otherwise pretty well bare, otherwise not much vegetation there. First, we'll move on to, we have our earliest planting date. These first four plots we're looking at were actually planted on September 29th. That was our first date for planting, fairly early, but in some cases might be a time frame with some early harvest you could get in. So this first one is we're gonna start with 30 pounds per acre. So you can see lots of great tillering, uh, branching, uh, and good growth from even just 30 pounds of cereal rye. As you look down ahead, you can see pretty well green cover as you kind of look down at what you can see looking down good cover a little bit sparse you get can get a little patchy at lower seeding rates but still very good cover for only 30 pounds of seed moving on next we have 60 pounds again same planting date a uh, little as you look through a little more consistent cover uh, looking through you can see a little more consistent overall having again good solid vegetative cover on uh, you know plants in some cases don't get quite as big because they have a little more competition uh, so you don't have them maybe branching out as much really good consistent cover moving from there we have our 90 pounds you know really looking out we really have a lot more solid cover really green thick cover again this is approaching on a higher rate, especially for earlier, the, to get uh, you know good biomass. But certainly if you're needing a lots of weed suppression, some of our, even our specialty crop systems, when we get in there, we tend to use higher seeding rates. Or if you're really battling weeds and trying to build biomass to help, uh, say, navigate some resistance issues, you know, you have this, uh, this option out here. Next, moving up to 120. So again, same thing, really uh, at this point, you know, even in the 90 from just visually looking pretty similar, got pretty thick, lush green uh, stands here from that earliest planting date, good growth and, and vigor and establishment. So that's really kind of what we're looking for in those earlier planting dates. So next we're moving on to our second planting date. This was on October 19th. So kind of midway through kind of the fall season. So again, starting off with 30 pounds per acre in this one. You can see as we look down with some of the corn stalk shadows, it's a little hard to see, sparse, but we have, we have scattered plants here and there, and those will come in and certainly fill in uh, fairly well. Um, you know, it, we've, one thing we've learned is that it doesn't always take a lot in the fall to give you some visible stand and, and good biomass in the spring. So certainly some out there on the lower side, but you can see from that first plot we looked at just the difference in planting date. So looking at that three or, or so weeks difference and what that does for the growth. Next, we're gonna move on, look at 60 pounds. Here, as you get down, I'm gonna get down a little bit so you can see, looking down the rows, this is where at that uh, mid planting date, you have definitely more consistency. Uh, you have enough seeds out, a little more seed, higher seeding rate that gives you more consistency, even though the plants are smaller, definitely good, uh, you know, solid cover that's coming in. Doesn't have the same ground cover going into the fall as what you did from that earlier date by any means, but certainly uh, good cover there. Next, moving on up to 90 pounds. Same story as you expect, same thing, only a little bit greener, a little more consistency. consistency. Looking through, you can see we have good cover throughout, uh, especially as we get a little later in the season. You know, uh, again, bolstering that seeding rate can, you know, is increasing some of the plant stand where we don't have some of the branching and tillering. Then 120 pounds. So you can see here, definitely 
a really uh, good rate. Again, 120 pounds would be roughly like a seeded rate for a, uh, a cash crop of, uh, of rye or other grain. So, you know, a good solid stand, uh, high biomass, uh, and in some cases probably more biomass, certainly above what would be a minimum to be qualified as, as still a useful for a cover crop, but lots of biomass out there. Our last planting date was November 22nd. So in this case, we're at mid-December uh, right now. And so in this time, it's been reasonably cool. It's really only been about three weeks since that, uh, since that planting. Uh, so we have, and I won't be able to find one right now, some very small emergence. I can see just here and there, find a couple of little tips starting to emerge through the ground. But other than that, we don't have these last seeding rates emerged yet, but they, uh, they too will come even later dates planted, even some in our area and geography planting, even in early December, still yield some uh, biomass and growth. So certainly not a wasted effort. And certainly we will revisit again in the spring to follow up more and see how these plots are doing. So a little overview of our research for this season. You know, in the second year of this work, what we have noticed, as you can tell from these pictures and some of what we've looked at here, is that those earlier planting dates, even at the lowest seeding rates, can yield really high biomass. And some of that does transfer through to, say, final biomass at termination time. So this is just a little glimpse of what things look like now. Stay tuned for more details. Again, this is Nathan Johanning with the University of Illinois Extension.